Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com. And uh, several, many months ago, I put together a video on how to use a balance charger. And uh, that was before the LIHV battery came out. And there have been some other things that have come along. I thought maybe I should update uh, the information that I put on that video. So this video is uh, an update on the previous video and it covers things that uh, that weren't covered in the in the first video. I'm going to try to make it as short as possible, and yet I want to cover as much as uh, as much information as you can use if you're uh, wondering how to use a balanced charger and what it's even for. I have a lot of other videos which I can make links to uh, in the comment section and uh, or in the uh, description. So uh, I won't go into a whole lot of detail that that is covered in that but this is what's called a balanced charger and um, what what happens is in your in your uh, bebop battery there's three cells and each cell um, it, it is about uh, well about three roughly uh, 3.7 volts I think something like that and uh, so on a regular this is a, this is a uh, LIPO LiPo battery. This is a LIHV battery that comes with the Bebop 2 power. And um, so they're a little bit different in some ways and pretty much the same in other ways. Uh, the, the LIHV battery, when you get it, it'll be, uh, the voltage reading will be about 11.1 .1 volts because when they make a LiPo battery, they use lithium and some kind of a plastic material, and they actually put two sheets together. When you put those two sheets together, it generates a voltage. And the nominal voltage is 11.1 .1 volts. For a, for a um, Bebop 2 power battery, which is made a little bit different, it's lithium, but it's got a different kind of polymer. And so when they put that together, it comes out to be about 11.4 volts. So there's a little bit of difference. And then the the uh the uh the rec normal lipo battery uh when you get it fully charged is going to give you about 12.4 volts and the normal uh lithium uh lihv battery when you get fully charged is going to come up to about 13.1 volts both of them doesn't matter which one both of them should not be discharged below 9 volts uh, in fact, that's getting down to where it's very dangerous. Uh, so uh, the 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 voltage range isn't very isn't very uh, great, and yet the, uh, the it takes a long time of flying in order to go down through that one point whatever volts. So what I want to do is I want to show you uh, if you haven't if you've got a, a balanced charger, don't know how to use it, or if you're thinking of getting one. Uh, I'll go through that. There's different kind of brands. Uh, this one happens to be Eternogy. It comes without a, a power supply, so if you <laughs> if you don't have a power supply, you'll have to buy an extra one. Uh, this year, I have been an amateur radio operator for 50 years, so I've got everything I need, and plus a whole bunch of stuff uh, to put together a power supply. But not everybody has those. In fact. Uh, not everybody has the tools or the skills to do all that kind of stuff and that's why I put together a um, a video on the uh, balance charge cable that matches the Bebop battery but we'll get to that later so this is this is typical of all there's several chargers out there do not buy the it's called a hobby mate don't buy the hobby mate it's made in China and uh, I bought one, tried it, and sent it back because it'll destroy your LiPo batteries. It's got uh, all kinds of issues. So, uh, and Hobby King is a good place to go. And I'll put links to the chargers that I recommend uh, in the uh, description. But Hobby King and Amazon both have uh, both carry these kind of chargers. And you, if you are if you're running a, a Bebop 2 power, you want to make sure you get a uh, something that'll charge an LIHV battery. Okay, I've got this all plugged in. I've got the uh, the power cable and the balance cable here. So let's get started. And let's say that I'm just going to um, um, charge. This is an old battery that a friend gave me. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go through playing with this. And uh, the the difference between uh, 
uh, this battery and the the, the LIHV and the uh, LiPo is very is not that much different. So we're going to use this one as our example. So first of all, uh, we take and we plug our uh, charge cable into the battery. And uh, by the way, let's go ahead and put this on right here. And by the way, this will charge all kinds of other batteries. And um, uh, the uh, the types of batteries are de are dependent upon the, t the dissimilar materials that are put together. And I've got a video on that, but we won't go there. So anyway, we plug into the balance port here. And then we plug... By the way, this is called a Dean's plug. It's probably the most common plug used in RC uh, hobby uh, batteries and so forth. And uh, so when if you get one of my balance uh, cables, it'll have a, a, a Dean's plug. And almost every charger that you can get will have a Dean's plug adapter. So we go ahead and we plug that in. My plug's about worn out, but anyway, there we go. Okay, now it's all plugged in. When you first turn this, uh, let's just start from the beginning, okay? We'll un unplug that, and now we're going to plug it in. And when you first plug it in, it gives you its name, and then it goes uh, to wherever you were last, probably. So we're going to hit the stop button here. You have a stop button and an enter key, and in between you have status buttons. You can you can increase through a menu or back up through a menu. This is backing up. This is going forward. So we're looking at a LiPo battery, and I'm just going to go through the different batteries, and I don't know the description of each one. Uh, there's a couple that I can identify. LiPo, uh, and that's a lithium ferrite uh, uh, battery, and I'm not sure what that one is. And this is the one that comes, this is what you would use if you have a Bebop 2 power. And uh, 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 Nike, I don't know what that one is, so we won't go there. This is a NiCad battery nickel cadmium we've had for years and that's a lead acid battery and then we have the battery meter which i'll show you how that works and we have we can measure resistance and then we can go in and change the default settings i have never needed to do that but if you're a, a hobbyist you probably already know you can go in change uh, for different kinds of batteries and change the default settings and then save those settings to memory and then every time that you uh, use a different battery, you go into memory and uh, hit the, the, the memory that you need to get, and it, it puts the defaults for that uh, uh, battery back, back into the system. But uh, I've never needed that, and probably you won't either if you're just charging li LiPo batteries. So we get to LiPo battery, and now we're gonna hit the, uh, we'll hit the enter key and choose the LiPo battery. And then when we get into the menu, we have uh, different uh, different parts of the menu. If we want to balance the uh, the uh, three cells in here, we would stick with that. If we want to just charge the battery, we've been out flying, we want to charge it, uh, we would use that. Uh, a fast charge I don't recommend because it's going to heat everything up, and that's not good for LiPo batteries. And then uh, storage is, is what you, you want to use storage after you get back from flying. Um, if, you're, if your battery is below 11.1 volts, then it'll charge it up to 11.1 volts. If it's above 11.1 volts, it'll discharge it down to that. That's the normal state. That's what a LiPo battery likes to, to sleep in. Okay, we'll put it that way. So uh, storage is what you should use a lot. And then discharge, you would use discharge only if you had some reason to, uh, to get the battery uh, down to a lower level. And uh, I can't think of any time I've ever needed to do that. Storage is important. And then this is the balance. Uh, when you get, you get it all charged up, well, then you would go to the balancing. Now, what I want to do is, first of all, also point out that these little, oops, these little gadgets here are, uh, they're $10 or so, uh, and uh, they are very handy. And by the way, when I say Hobby King or Amazon, I also mean your local hobby store. I forgot about that. Your local hobby store carries a lot of stuff, not necessarily for Bebop, but it, they carry charging, st uh, charging uh, chargers and so forth, and connectors. So uh, I've got this a special made. This is an old charger uh, cable, and the, the it's the the set. It's just got the same connection as uh, the the battery cable. So. Uh, 
I've got it just permanently, permanently hooked up there. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. And now I can tell you that uh, we'll hit we'll hit that mode there. This battery is at about 81 percent. Okay, and uh, if I look at each cell, uh, cell number one is at 4.023 volts, 81 percent. Cell number two is at uh, 4.044 volts, and cell number three is at 4.024 volts. And so each one is around 80 percent. And uh, then if we hit the mode switch, then we know that the entire battery is 12.08 volts and at 81%. So uh, this is a, a real handy tool to have, and you can measure your, 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 uh, your battery voltages with that. But let's say that you don't want to buy one of those, so uh, we're going to go ahead and hook this back up like it's supposed to be. And let's say you want to look at the same thing with your charger. So we'll go back here and we'll go through to battery meter and hit enter. Okay, and there's the three different voltages uh, of, this, um, of this battery. And let's see if we can get the entire thing. Yeah, so it's 12.07 volts. So you don't need to buy one of these if you get a good balanced charger. Not they don't all have all the features that this one has. This one was a really nice expensive one. All right, so now we're back out of there. We're going to go, whoops, come on. We're going to go back up to, uh, oh, let's go back to resistance. Let's see, can we go back to resistance? Let's hit resistance while we're here, okay? Everything has resistance to current, okay? So if we hit enter here, it's measuring the battery right now, and it's seeing how much current goes through there and how much resistance there is. So each cell has amount, a certain amount of resistance. Cell number one has 55 milliohms, or 55 thousandths of an ohm. Cell number two, 57 milliohms. Cell number three, 51 milliohms. If you want to know the total, you just hit that right there. It has 163 milliohms. Now, this is an old battery, okay? A new battery might have 40 or 50 milliohms. And another thing to remember is when you charge up a fully charged battery, it's going to have more resistance due to the fact that uh, it, it, its internal voltage resists the tester uh, giving it the test. So it gets, a, it looks like, well, it's got more resistance when it's charged up. Yeah, it does. And uh, less resistance when it's discharged. So that's the battery meter or the resistance measure measurement. Now let's go back to uh, charging the battery. Okay, LiPo, we want. All right. So let's say that you're, you're out, you're, uh, you, you want to charge the battery up. So, oh, let's go to one more step here. Okay, there's charge. Now, this this battery is is rated at uh, 2.7 amps or 2700 milliamps and uh, i don't like to do the full charge so we'll just sit it at two amps and we can change that by hitting the start and then we can go higher or we can go lower um, and the lower you go the less the less heat it generates and probably better on the battery uh, but uh, it's rated at 2.2.7 amps now we'll go to the next one uh, this is, this is uh, the th you notice the three flashing? That's because there's three cells. You can go, this, uh, this uh, tool will measure uh, two cells, three cells. Let's see how high it'll go. Okay, there's two cells, which will uh, average out at a, a, a resting voltage of 7.4 volts. Three cells, 11.1 .1 volts. Four cells, uh, you notice the four, is 14.8 volts. You can get, you can buy five cell uh, lipo batteries, 18 volts, and six cells, 22 volts. So, uh, so this this charger is made for all kinds of lipo batteries, and we're just going to use a three cell. So we'll, uh, we're ready to go. And to start charging, we hold this down without letting up, and then we have a chance to cancel or continue. So we're going to continue. And you can see now it's charging their cell one, cell two, and cell three. And if you sit and see there, it's going up now. That just changed to a three. Okay. So now it's charging. Let's say that it gets all through charging. So we're going to hit stop. Okay. And uh, the, the if we go to the meter, you're going to probably find that not all the cells are the same. So the thing we want to do is we can go through our, our frontwards here and get to balance. Now, if we put it on balance and we hit start, 
It's going to make it actually it's going to continue charging with a lipo battery it's going to charge up until uh that gets to 4.2 and that gets to 4.2 and that gets to 4 that one gets to 4.2 so it'll sit there charging but what i do i i charge it i use a standard charge to get it up charged quickly and then i switch over to balance to, to balance them out uh some people like to just start with the balance but it, it Balance doesn't, uh, it, it takes so much time to, to balance the battery. If you just go to balance first, it'll be charging for a long, long time because it checks and then it charges and it checks and it charges. In fact, on some of these, like there's 4.2 on that one already. Now it's discharging that one because uh, the rest of them aren't up to that point. So it takes forever to charge using the balance charge. So uh, I suggest just put it on well, let's see, put it on charge, get it all charged up, and then put it, go back and put it on balance, okay? And one other thing, uh, a friend of mine, let's see, let's just turn this off. A friend of mine had a, 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 a Bebop 2, and uh, it had, had issues, so he sent it into Parrot. This was just recently. And then Parrot, set, Parrot sent him back a Bebop 2 Power. So now he's got the Bebop 2 power batteries, and uh, then he's, I think he had some extra Bebop 2 batteries laying around. And so now he's got a charger for the Bebop uh, power. Now, if you don't have a balanced charger and you're just using the wall charger uh, that comes with your uh, Bebop power, don't use that charger to charge a regular Bebop battery because it'll overcharge it and you could end up with a fire and you actually ruin the battery. So if, if, uh, if you've got both kinds of batteries, uh, you better get yourself a balanced charger so you can either go with uh, LiPo or go with LiHV. Let's go back here to the beginning and we'll go through here. Here's where you would charge your old battery and if you got new ones, you would go there and charge the LiHV. Now let's take a look at the LiHV and I'll show you. There's a couple of things that go on when you go to charge one of these. This is this is in the balanced mode or resting mode right now. So it, we should be able to um, see the the, uh, the the individual cells. But uh, let's say I want to go to charge. So go back here. Whoop. Well, let's go to. We'll find it. There we go. Let's say we go to charge with a L with this charger and an Li. HV battery if I hit start and then I say yes I want to go there now it warns me to make sure that I've got an LIHV battery connected and if I do I just click OK and now it's charging under LIHV and so it'll bring it'll bring those cells up to um, a total of uh, 11 or 13.1 volts and so um, the, uh, the LIHV battery gets charged higher. So if I hook this battery up under those sit situations, it'll, it'll uh, overcharge this and ruin it. So anyway, uh, hopefully this has been helpful. I tried to go through as quickly as I can. And uh, uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please don't hesitate to ask. But uh, this is the newer chargers that are out now. Uh, and that kind of outdates the old video I had. So, uh, and I would, I would recommend, I would strongly recommend getting a balanced charger for your LiPo batteries because over the years, the batteries that I've had uh, with model airplanes and so forth, uh, they always recommend using a balanced charger because if, this, if these cells get out of balance, you'll get that flashing red light, uh, which I've got a video on that too. <laughs> anyway, you don't want that. And so you spend the extra money on a balanced charger and um, then you won't have to be buying batteries. And a balanced charger is going to cost you about the same as a new battery. So uh, uh, I would strongly recommend going to that eventually anyway. Uh, okay, I think I've covered everything. I want to thank you for watching and God bless.